Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it is that time again, and we're going to have some fun in this video, because by the end of the video, we're going to have a new Rank 5 Champion. Now, I'm going to take up three champions. The first two, they go to like Rank 3, and we'll talk a little bit about them, but that last one is gonna be my newest rank five. All right, so let's see if you can uh, guess the first two. After the first two, we will introduce the options for the uh, rank five and then see if you can guess that rank five. So don't worry, uh, we'll have some time later. All right, so we're gonna reveal the first two in five, four, three, two, one. Cable, that's the first one. You guys know I was waiting for Cable and I finally grinded for him. Uh, he is an old champion. Hardly anybody really wanted him and most people already had him. Uh, I think I put up, what, 80 million or something like that for him. Way overkill, but that's just how I do. And I wanted him because I was really tired of using my five-star. I would bring the five-star along with my Apocalypse, who is also rank three. And usually... In the event quest, you know, the uh, mutant uh, quest where the mutants get, you know, bonuses and all of that, I would bring him, not just because he has an awesome synergy with um, Apocalypse, but also he gives uh, Apocalypse a very nice synergy so that he can... Um, start out really with uh all of his charges so very very nice if you hear windows things that's my sister sending me things uh it looks like she timed it just right for when i'm making the video but anyway um cable with apocalypse doesn't need to be a um horseman or anything like that just being on the team makes him crazy good. I showed some people what the five star could do. And it's amazing. So this six star going to be even better. Okay. Love this combination. How often I'll be using it. We'll see. Don't know if I'm going to use it a lot. But I am going to have a lot of fun, okay, uh, with this combination. So that's why I took him up. I don't see him also uh, going up to rank four until rank four has become a lot more um, prevalent in the game. Uh, by the time I take him to rank four, I <clears throat> probably would have already taken up a lot of champions uh, to rank five. But for now, I don't have that many rank fives, and uh, I don't even have Apocalypse at rank four. Uh, eventually, eventually, we're going to take him up. Okay, so that's the first champion, and a little bit of why I took him up, mainly because of the synergy he has with Apocalypse. Anytime you run Apocalypse, you want to bring Cable along. It's just, you know, they buddies. Okay, great synergy. Now, the second one is Shuri. So, when Shuri came out, she was cute. Every time someone would ask me, well, how is Shuri? How good is she? I would tell them, well, she's cute. And uh, that usually gave them an idea that she wasn't really that great as a champion, you know. 
Um, but they just recently reworked her. And she is very good now. That rework did some nice work. Now, I took her up to rank three, but she is available as a seven star. So I'm not taking the six star past three. But at rank three, she's still usable. And who knows when I will get the seven star Shuri. And she doesn't really need to be awakened. So she is definitely one of the better seven stars to pull. And so I decided to take the six star up as a let me use her now until I get the seven star. And of course, I'm an arena grinder. So having her, you know, at rank three means more points in the arena. And she ramps up much faster. And she's pretty quick in the arena. I remember using her before. And I was like, I'm not taking her up uh, because she takes too long. And when I'm in the arena, I don't want champions that take a long time. So I left her at rank one because I don't tend to use my rank ones. Um, when, when I'm just going for the milestones, I don't need to use my rank ones. So if it's a champion that I don't really use or, or don't really care to use elsewhere, I just leave them at rank one. But I decided to take Shuri up. Okay. And uh, I don't recommend investing in a six star to rank four at this time if they are available as a seven star now i have some champions that i'm probably going to take to rank four because they are so much better with their sig levels and they're just fun and even when i eventually get the seven star the six star is still going to be very useful so I may uh, do that. But for the most part, I would not uh, invest too much in the six stars to rank four. Rank three, no problem. I'll do that all day long. Uh, as long as I can use them somewhere like in Battlegrounds, uh, the event quest, um, maybe AQ if I need to. Uh, but for the most part, rank three is going to be where they stop. Okay, now, for the main course. First, let's go through my options, all right, uh, for a rank five. And I agonized over this, let me tell you. So just so that you guys know, uh, we got the 4th of July deals, and I bought a bundle that gave me a... Uh, rank five rank up gem okay and so i had a few options i could take a champion to rank four and then use the gem i could also use a rank four gem that i have and then use the rank five gem so i could take somebody right on up uh but i kept looking over my options and i had some good options uh to go to rank five I have some good options to go to rank four and then rank five, okay? So, let's see who uh, I'm looking at. First option is Kingpin, okay? Now, Kingpin is a beast, and he's already rank four, and I love Kingpin, okay? He is so useful in so many different areas of the game, that's why people ban him all the time, okay? In Battlegrounds, in AQ, in Alliance War, you always see Kingpin there, um, either on defense or offense. So he's another one of those champions that can do both. He's not one-dimensional. And so he is definitely, definitely um, going up. The question is, when? Will he go up now or later? We'll see. All right. Now, staying on the uh, skill track, the next one is Nick Fury. 
All right. You guys should already know about Nick Fury. You know, I love my Nick Fury. OK, um, I do use him. He's also uh, not one dimensional. He's good on attack. He's good on defense. Um, don't really see him a lot these days on Alliance War defense. Uh, but you see him a lot in Battlegrounds. And so he is definitely an option as well. However, he's good at rank four. So I already have him at rank four, SIG 200. And he does what he needs to do at rank four. He also has that safety net that I like, you know, that extra life. Love it. Okay. All right. Third candidate, another skill champion, and it's Valkyrie. Yes. Now, you guys might remember uh, early on, I was like, eh, I'm probably not going to take Valkyrie up. And then I ended up taking her up. She is rank four SIG 200 as well. And let me tell you, she is a beast. Now, all the, the champs I've been mentioning so far have um, already been taken to rank four. Uh, Kingpin is not yet SIG 200, but I'm working on it. Now, Valkyrie, oh my goodness, Valkyrie is just a beast. If you don't know, now you know, okay? Um, she is good in so many different situations. I've used her in Alliance War. And she can take some very tricky fights. She doesn't actually have to hit the opponent. You know, you can build her up, hitting into their block, if you need to build up those pierce charges. As long as she has one pierce charge, she can deal with unstoppables. That's huge. Okay, that is huge. So think about a fight that is difficult because of the unstoppable. Valkyrie is good for that fight. OK, so definitely, definitely love my Valkyrie. OK, now we got another one. Got another one. The next one is Nimgod. All right. So Nimrod is a beast. He's currently only rank three. So I need to get him to rank four and then rank five. OK, but Nimrod is like a mutant destroyer okay but he is also good elsewhere he's a good defender and a good attacker now with valkyrie i don't think she's that great of a defender she's more of an attacker uh but nimrod he can do both and i remember at least in one meta of a uh, alliance war he was getting um banned a lot okay and i don't blame him he is definitely a beast. All right. So those are currently the champions that I'm thinking of taking to rank five. Now, an honorable mention would be Hulkling. Definitely thinking of taking Hulkling up. Uh, and all of these champions, to my knowledge right now, are not available as seven stars. All right. So. Who do you think I'm going to take up to rank five? Who's going to be my newest rank five? I'll let you think about it. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Nick, 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 Nick Fury. So y'all know how much I love my Nick Fury. I use him all the time in Alliance Quest and in Alliance War, and in Battlegrounds. He gets banned in Battlegrounds a lot. He's probably going to get banned a lot more now uh, in Battlegrounds, but he is a beast. And being SIG 200 makes him even more annoying on defense because it takes him a much longer time to get down and degen to that 30%. Okay? So... Nick Fury, I, there was no way I was going to take 
Kingpin up over my Nick Fury. Just, just, just wasn't going to happen. You know, I do want Kingpin up there. I do want Valkyrie up there. I want them all up there. But Nick Fury had to go first. I use him more than I use any of the others. Okay? So definitely, definitely had to be Nick Fury. Now, um, at the end of this uh, video, I, I might... Let me see what time. Uh, it's already 15 minutes. Hmm. Yeah, let me not do that. Uh, I might do it in another video. Uh, but I just went into uh, Realm of Legends with him. And I did one fight with him, just regular. Not, you know, killing him off and then, you know, uh, seeing his damage that way. Then I did another one where I did do that, just let Winter Soldier take him out and then do the second life. But there's a lot of videos out there that showcase this. Maybe not at rank five um, with the recoil masteries on. So let me know in the comments if you want to see that video. And I'll do it. I'll make a video um, and you guys can compare the uh, damage between them. I'll keep the video around for a little bit. So just let me know if you guys want to see it, if it's something you think you'd be interested in. All right. But anyway, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit that like button. Definitely hit the like button. It helps me out, helps the channel grow, helps YouTube spread the word of my videos around. Uh, and don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see that video. If you don't want to see it, just don't say anything at all and I won't put it out there. All right. Anyway, take care and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.